Humphrey is an unusual man in many ways, not only because he's chairman of the board of a $100 million corporation, and he downplays that. He has been listed as a doctor. He's been a minister. He's a chemist. And I read an article about him in the Christian Science Monitor, Monitor a very distinguished newspaper. And over his picture, it said, when nature speaks, he listens. Uh, the un unusual thing about Dr. Shackley is not only that he's head of the great Shackley Corporation, and they have maybe 125,000, 100,000 salespeople around, but that he is interested in products, products such as skin care products, cleaning compounds, food supplements, and even animal shampoos that do not do damage to nature. Your, your, your signal, your whole philosophy is cooperate with nature. I find that very constructive, Dr. Shackley. We have determined and mentioned many times we will not produce a product that can in any way injure a tissue cell. The thing that makes you this so remarkable is that you were involved in this long before the community as a whole got interested in polluting. Well, I've been an admirer of and a student of nature from the time I was just a small lad. Something about it whispered in my ear. There was the impression that nature was all there was to the expression of life. And I'd better cooperate and do that which nature furnished to, for me without any obligation, just merely receiving. And I felt that uh, in my growing years, the development, athletic work, and the gym and all of that, that I, this is the only body I'll ever have, and it's being fed and supplied by nature, I'd better cooperate with nature. And that was the f beginning of the work that we're now following. Mm -hmm.